in No gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to another video. Just trying to get... There we go. Now it's opening correctly. So we are here on Midwest Horizons. Uh, this is the season ready version of the map. Um, if you did not see the stream uh, of me setting up the map here, um, then I'll go ahead and give you guys a rundown of uh, the equipment and whatnot and what I've done. Uh, so we're running fields 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 71, and 72 uh, this first growing season. Uh, so to start off, we got our um, OBS F350 pickup. Uh, we got here our Case Magnum 380 with our Case International uh, 490 disc in our shed over here. We have our Great Plains drill, the, uh, oh shit, I don't even remember the model number on it, and then we got our Kinsey 3600 corn planter sitting there, um, and then back here I put down a herbicide tank, a seeds tank, and a fertilizer tank. Um, our drill does not take fertilizer, but the um, corn planter takes fertilizer, and then I just put down gravel back here. And then over here, uh, which is one thing that I had not purchased in the live stream because I did not have it downloaded yet, uh, we have our MacDon FD75. This is the 35-foot model uh, on our Unverfirth uh, 536 Roadrunner header trailer, and then we have a. Uh, uh, this is the one of the in-game corn heads, and then over here, I placed a Meridian fuel tank, and then we have the uh, Thunder Creek uh, FST 990 with added def function, and then I have a def pump right here. Uh, here we have a Quonset that I placed down. Am I going to be able to walk through the door? Yes, I am. Um, in here we have our John Deere 7250R, our Peterbilt 389, our Hardy Navigator uh, 6000, our Case Axial Flow 8120, and our Kinsey 1050 Grain Cart. We have all of those in there. And then here we have, what do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got eight. Um, what brand are they? Eight suck, eight Brock. Uh, shit, I forget what. Um, these are 350,000 bushel bins. And then over here we have our Merit Super Bees and our Farm King Auger. And uh, then I just kind of made it a gravelly area in here. So that's what I've done. And that's our machinery. Um, that's just kind of what we're going to start off with for this year. Um, I'll give you guys kind of a rundown. I have it here on my phone. But I also do have it in a spreadsheet. Because um, I'm going to kind of keep track of what we do. But uh, so field 24 is 18.21 bush uh, sorry acres um, and that one we're gonna put spring wheat in uh, field 25 is 5.62 acres we're gonna put corn in that 26 is 2.31 acres we're gonna put soybeans in there uh, 27 is 2.22 acres also putting soybeans into that field 28 is 4.13 and we're gonna put corn in there uh, field 29 is 4.52 acres, and we're going to put corn in that. Uh, field 71 is 4.29 acres, and we're going to put soybeans in there. Um, and then field finally, field 72, which is 17.36 is acres, we're also going to put spring wheat in that. So I think what we're going to go ahead and do 
is we'll first go field go ahead and till fields 24 and 72 that way we can get those planted and in the ground right away so that way come summer uh, those fields are ready to harvest right away um, now over at the second over where some of these other fields are I'll just kind of run over here quick and you guys can see whoops okay now I'm stuck Ah, damn it. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Let's slow down our speed now. I think I'm back to standard speed. Yep. But as you can see over here, this right here is a cattle farm, I believe. I believe that this is where it's got uh, cattle. I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's got the dairy barn like a dairy and stuff. Uh, let's just see here once. Maybe one of these areas has a trigger on it for animals. So I'm trying to find here. I mean, I would think that there's one here somewhere. Maybe in here. Uh, let's see what's over this way. Oh, that just leads over into there. Come on, let me out of here. There we go. Um, how about over here? Anywheres? Just trying to get where I can bring up animal dialogue. But it's not allowing me to do so yet. Anywhere that I have tried. So, I'm not entirely too sure I believe that this is the animal farm I'm not a hundred percent sure but I believe that it should be the like cow farm area I'm pretty sure that that's what this is like I said, I'm not 100% sure. So don't quote me on it. But uh, I believe it is. And if any of you know, uh, feel free to let me know. You know, oh, hey, yeah, that is Animal Farm. Or for cows and stuff. And uh, we may possibly in the future get into dairy cows. We'll see. Um, that could be something that we do next season. We could pick up the equipment for that and pick up the cattle. Um, you know, I guess we'll just kind of have to see how much money we have at the end of uh, this year. So we're going to go ahead because uh, we're on day two. And if we look here, um, between days one and three, our prime planting for, or you're able to plant, you're able to plant wheat anywhere from day one till the end of, um, end of it, what are my days, oh, kind of would like that set to six, so, yeah, so days one and two, we can plant, um, starting day one, we can plant wheat, uh, and then starting day three, we can plant our soybeans and our corn. So, um, my plan is, since we're already on day two, um, we can go ahead, we'll get the ground ready for our wheat, and we'll go ahead and get that put in the ground right away. And then we can uh, get our ground ready for our other crops as well oops getting kind of wonky here um, so I'm sure some of you have seen that I've been live streaming again um, 
for those of you that last knew my computer being broke no it's not fixed um, I just found out hook it up to TV with an HDMI cord and I can still use it so that is exactly what I am doing right now currently is I have it hooked up to a TV that's why I'm kinda staring off at the distance instead of right at the uh, camera here <coughs> but uh, yeah so this field definitely goes a little far into the trees here a little farther than I would like it to be or the trees kinda overhang trees and bushes um, so yeah I'm gonna try and bring back the daily videos um, today is currently Friday you guys will be seeing this on Monday I'm gonna try and from today on uh, today have you seen this video um, have daily uploads again so um, bring you guys some content back and we'll be here on Midwest Horizons I may throw in some videos every once in a while oh jeez I can't even drive for anything here um, I may have days where I don't have videos of the game um, it it will be a little while yet before you guys see them or before I start making any of these videos but um, I do plan on getting back into mapping um, and I do kind of have some ideas you know started in my head of some stuff that I would like to do uh, for map projects but um, I mean I haven't started anything yet I haven't even you know gone and downloaded a base map or anything like that I haven't done anything uh, anything like that so um, but I do plan on um, like I said getting back into mapping again at some point I would like to uh, eventually like I said not sure when but uh, it will happen I do want to get back into it so I think we can slow this guy down to about eight. Yeah, I just realized I didn't even set a timer for uh, this video. Oh well shouldn't take us all that long to uh, disc this field really I mean it's not super super huge I mean fields 72 and 24 are our biggest fields so those are the two that'll kinda take the longest to do any work in that's kinda you know with them being the biggest that's kinda why, kinda why I wanted to run wheat in them um, just cause wheat's kind of a good cash crop so I figured uh, might as well run wheat in our larger fields and I do have the guidance mod you know the things supposed to be GPS now but uh, for whatever reason I just I don't know it must be conflicting with something else that I have or something I have no idea because it won't open for me I have no clue what the deal is with it so we'll just be free handing it um, if you guys remember some of my old FS videos before my you know screen happened whatever I was using a controller um, I don't have that controller anymore I gotten rid of it so until I can get a new one 
or figure out uh, I mean I have I did pick up an Xbox 360 at a pawn shop and I have two controllers for it and I have the cord with one of them and supposedly there's supposed to be a way that you can still hook that controller up to a PC I just have yet to completely figure it out so I'll have to kind of play with that a little bit Let's knock out some end rows here. Yeah, this field shouldn't take too terribly long. Like I said, it's not too big, so... I mean, we could bump this back up to uh, 10 here. Make it go a little bit faster. I guess I've never really done tillage, so I'm not entirely sure what uh, a setup like this would usually run at in real life, but... And uh, because I know that there's going to be those people that ask where I got this, where I got that, I'm not even going to answer your question if you ask it, because... Literally, you can find any of this stuff anywhere, really. Um, I mean, the map, Google it. The mods, Google them. I mean, if I found it on a website, you can easily find it as well. I mean, I'm not here to just hand out links to you. I mean, I had to go find it, so you can too. I mean, nothing that I'm using on this save game is private, so, or is anywhere that, you know, somebody else couldn't get, wouldn't be able to get to it, so, like I said, if you just Google it, you'll be able to find it. I should just turn off, uh, once it saves here, turn off the fucking withering. Or the crop destruction here, because otherwise it's just going to get to be a pain, especially when we try and spray. It's just going to want to kill everything I drive over, and I don't really want that. We'll go ahead and we'll go around this again another time or two. Give us enough turning room around uh, up here. Around all of these trees. I am just getting over being sick, so that's kind of why I'm all stuffy and stuff. So we'll just kind of cut it off right here and we'll flip around and we'll go back again and then we'll uh, continue heading north and south in this field. Continue uh, knocking it out bit by bit. I 
So I might do this video series a little bit differently. Instead of only doing half hour videos, I might just kind of do it like, you know, okay, mm, I guess, I don't know. Every video might be a little bit different. You know, like, this video is going to be plowing field, or, you know, cultivating field 72. The next one will be field 24. And then, you know, when it comes to, like, the smaller fields, I might be doing a couple of them. And then when it comes to planting, maybe, you know, planting one field, or, you know, when it comes to the small ones, planting a couple of the little ones. That kind of stuff. Um, you know, that just... It, it'll vary, I guess, depending on what I plan on getting, trying to get done in that day's video. Um, but I'm not going to, like, religiously stick to the half hour like I used to. Um, just because I'm going to kind of just change it up a little bit. Thing wants to keep just grabbing more than a wider area than the disc is. I don't like when it does that. Yeah, I definitely can't do it in cab. Alright, let's see if we can manage to keep the tractor straight for the most part <laughs> I think we did a pretty good job there This little strip here. I think we're putting under. I think it's uh, potatoes that we're tilling under currently. I have no desire to do potatoes uh, or really. I mean, I don't really have a huge desire to do sugar beets either. But, I mean, if that's something that you guys would like to see done in the future, we can maybe take a look into getting the machinery uh, to do sugar beets. And, I mean, we could get, like, a building to store them in until we sell them. Or we could just sell them directly from the field. But, I mean, we could probably just pick up a building to uh, store them in, get, like, maybe, like, the Quonset that we have. Or I have some other buildings that they could be stored in. There we go. We didn't do too bad. So, I mean, we're already a good chunk of the way through this field, so... Like I said, it should not take all too long at all to get this field done. And I guess if I can just keep the center of the hood centered with uh, the row. I mean, I guess it'll keep the... Keep us in line I know there's a lot of guys that say I don't do enough uh, first person and I do too much third person view so might as well try and make uh, everybody at least a little bit happy But for the ends, I will be going out of cab just so I can get it lined up. 
So I mean, I'm kind of doing a mix of the, the both. Yeah, our tractor's already getting kind of dirty. That's one thing. We actually can do that right now. I don't have a pressure washer. I don't think I have any modded pressure washers at all. I don't believe that I do. No. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick up a pressure washer because we will need it here eventually. I think we'll just go ahead and stick it right here next to uh, this little building. Just because it's kind of a good spot for it. I think we'll just go ahead and stick it right here on the corner. Uh, do we want to turn it? Yeah, we'll turn it so that way everything's facing out on it. Go ahead and put it right there. That'll work for me. We'll go ahead and continue on down this pass. And yes, I do vape. I vape, smoke, and I chew. So, just throwing that out there. It's a lot easier to uh, use my vape while I'm recording than to try smoking a cigarette. This is definitely a nice disc. First time I've ever used it. Uh, I mean, during the time period when I didn't have any gaming videos or any live streams going or anything like that, I uh, I didn't keep up with downloading any mods or nothing because I, I mean, I didn't think of hooking this up to a TV um, at all. So I never used it. I mean, it just sat. It literally sat in the back seat of my pickup for months um, with nothing getting done to it. And then the one day was like, you know, I wonder if it would work. Decided to try it out, and sure enough, it did. So then it was, all right, let's get caught up on mods here. And I mean, it was. It took me a couple hours to go through all of the mod websites that I usually use and then to go through like Facebook groups that I'm in, see if there's anything there, Facebook pages, because I mean I hadn't been saving links at all ever either because I just wasn't really paying attention to them at all. I mean it was such a disaster. I mean I downloaded, I don't even know how many mods I bet a couple hundred uh, mods and maps and everything like that and yeah it was just it was absolute insanity and uh, I mean once I started my game up after I finished downloading everything it took it took it a good little while to, to open and then of course there was some conflictions between a couple of mods so I had to figure that out um, my confliction ended up being with the manual attaching mod uh, with that mod anytime I would sell you know I, normally when I start a save game I sell everything that it starts me with and anytime I would do that my game would freeze after I would sell you know anything you know I'd only be on certain stuff and it would vary on each map of what it would be that would freeze my game and then it started being where my combines wouldn't turn on or like you know when you turn on the 
header to start combining it wouldn't turn on you know like when you go to turn on the harvester it just it wouldn't so couldn't figure it out so then I you know took everything back to square one took all the mods out and just started alphabetically putting them all back in and uh, it took a while to figure it out but I did finally get it figured out um, that you know it was the manual attaching mod because once I got to the M's then it did it again so you know my first thought was well I wonder if it's manual attaching uh, because like with the combines and semis you didn't have to manually attach those uh, whoops you didn't have to manually attach you know like semi trailers and you didn't have to manually attach um, the headers so that got me thinking you know I wonder if that's conflicting with it sure enough that was my issue so deleted that and uh, then it was problem free I've had no issues for the most part uh, except I see that I can basically delete the guidance guidance mod this GPS thing as uh, for me it just it does not work not sure what its deal is but it just doesn't work so uh, let's take a quick peek here let's see what all actually needs to be okay so we just so our corn ground is actually because I believe let's see 25 28 and 29 yep that's corn so we actually only have to whoops didn't realize you were gonna keep going um, we really only have to do our wheat and bean ground this year um, and then next year we'll be able to or we'll have to run everything under because um, let's see here do I have let's see I have lime required on let's turn that off uh, the weeds will leave on periodic plowing is off we want to leave that um, I want to turn this off for the helpers because I don't want them like if I use course play I don't want it to just be sitting there pulling money out while it's seeding because I want to like actually fill it and that kind of stuff so I want it to actually use fuel and you know drain the fuel not um, just be buying fuel as it drives basically so we are getting close to done thankfully there'll be one field down be uh, one step closer to our planting and then because my plan uh, the plan here is that we'll go ahead we'll do our tillage for our wheat our fields that we're going to be planting in spring wheat and then um, we'll get them planted and then once I get them planted I'm going to fast forward to day three and then we'll s let's see we'll fast forward to day three we'll till our soybean fields fast forward to day four we'll get our soybeans and our corn in the ground well we'll get our soybeans in the ground on day four whoops wrong button I meant to hit C not B And then uh, we'll get our soybeans in the ground on day four. Oh, let's get it back over 
right here where we were. We'll, uh, because, yeah, we'll, so it's day two right now, I believe, right? Yeah, so we'll get the, these two fields tilled and get them planted. Fast forward to the next day, till our soybean fields. Fast forward to day four. We'll plant our soybeans and we'll spray our wheat ground. Fast forward to day five, we'll put our corn in. And then we'll fast forward to day one of summer and our wheat should be just about ready by then I would think. Uh, we may be able to get one more round of spraying done on our wheat before we harvest it. Um, and then, you know, we'll have wheat harvest come up and whatnot. And then um, we'll have to spray our soybean and corn ground. Um, I think bef right before we start combining our wheat will spray our soybean and our corn ground quick and um, then we can start combining and then we'll uh, be able to combine our wheat get that stored uh, we do still need to buy something to move the snow uh, come winter because uh, I don't currently have anything to move snow so we can either get, I think I do have a snowblower mod. We could get that or we could buy a skid steer and use that along with getting, uh, we could customize our 7R. Um, it is capable of having loader mounts on it. So we could put loader mounts on it and then just buy a loader for it and a bucket. And we can use that on top of a skid steer or just one or the other I mean we'll just kinda have to see what happens when that time comes so right there is our ed f field edge if I can talk correctly so we are just about done And while I am thinking of it, I am just going to do this right away too. I'm going to throw this in field work. Calculate. This is field 72. Let's go to course generation. So this is going to start in the... Oh, I think on a normal we'll have it start in the south. Well, first we got to set it to our field. Oops, 72. We'll have it start in the southwest. Automatic. We'll have three headland passes set. And we're going to just drop this down to 8.5 just so that way it has a little overlap just so it doesn't want to constantly miss. That is a common problem with course play here. Okay, so that'll start out perfect. I mean, it'll kind of run a little funky, but that works for me because, I mean, it'll run this way. <coughs> <coughs> Which, I mean, would rather it ran north and south like we're running, but that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to save that as field 72 disk um, I do need to make folders as well on there for everything but I'll do that another I'll do that off camera just because that's kind of a boring repetitive task all you're doing is clicking 
create a folder and naming it field whatever or like I usually make a folder for all my transport courses like I have uh, a course going from the shop to the main farm here um, and then one going from the main farm back to the shop and then I have a course going from here at the main farm over to our secondary farm and then one going from secondary farm back to here and then eventually I probably will have courses running uh, like the semi from the farm to you know wherever we may be selling you know running to a sell point so you know like if we have if we're selling during a time of year where we're doing other you know like let's say we sell in the spring and so we're doing other stuff on top of you know selling grain then uh, I can have a course set up going from the farm to that elevator so that way we can keep working on whatever we're doing and they can keep hauling grain just kind of make things a little bit easier I mean we may never even use the course who knows but it is always nice to have just in case you know, I usually make them no matter what just kind of have them just so they're there they're available if uh, need be yeah, I mean another thing too that they can be good for is they can be good for using as like a guidance line you know like uh, you know could follow those instead of following these rows could be following course play line if I was running this field the same anyways Just about done here. and I forgot to clear the course don't want to leave it up I don't believe that the disc has a dirt skin on it. It might on the wheels, but I don't know about... Oh yeah, it does. Okay. I see it now. It just isn't appearing as fast as the tractor seems to be. But then again, that's the wheels are always the fastest thing to get dirty. The rest of it just kind of follows. I think we got about one more pass after this and we should be able to clean it up and one more pass here so yeah I, uh, I do have plans of making a map I'm not sure exactly where um, but like I said I do I do want to make a map again and it is a map that I plan on taking some yeah I'm gonna be taking a fair amount of time on it because I do kind of want to try my hand at modeling some buildings for it um, I mean there's no guarantees that I'm actually gonna be able to do it uh, just because you know I haven't I haven't modeled anything in such a long time so whether or not I'll even be able to make anything worthwhile I don't even know. So we'll go ahead and snap a picture here. Alright. 
well, we're just about done here. We'll go ahead and we'll uh, end it here. So that's going to about going to about do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Oh, oh. Why are you not stopping now? Okay, there we go. Not sure what his deal was there. But, uh, as always, thanks for watching, you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.